Knowing what to do, he gets to his feet. I owe it to you, are the words he repeats. He knows one day he'll pay back his debt and that it would all be okay once he proves his regret. In the broken heart of an innocent child, her family falls apart, and that's putting it mild. She may never forgive, nor ever forget, the pain I would leave and forever regret. I'm fine, sir. Yeah. Um, she may never forgive, nor ever forget the pain I would leave and forever regret. She'd awaken once again from the same bad dream, barely even ten, tears flowing like a stream. With her mother by her side, they sit and mourn as one. And even though they tried, they could never see the sun. With the morning on its way, she would have to go to class, wishing she could stay, but knowing she has to pass. And then I've put that in my perspective to show that I know how, or I can imagine what she must be going through. And then I put a part for me. And during this all, he sits in his cell, staring at a wall, knowing he's in hell. With a blade in his hand, he could take away the pain, buried beneath the sand, innocent and sane. With the blade at his wrist, he wishes he would die, he clenches his fists and then starts to cry. He puts the blade down and wipes away his tears, he then starts to frown and overcome his fears. Knowing what to do, he gets to his feet. I owe it to you, are the words he repeats. And only he knows and will always remember why he had no clothes and what happened that September. To the family. Writing you this letter is tough for me. I don't really know how to use the correct words, how to say what's truly on my heart. To put my feelings onto paper, however I'm going to do my absolute best. I know at this stage life is extremely hard for you and that coping is not easy. Although I would never truly know exactly how you feel or what you're going through, I do know that it's all because of me. I know an apology will never be good enough or take away all your pain. I do, however, hope that one day you would be able to find some form of comfort in this letter. I would not blame you, however, if you don't believe a word I'm saying. And I also would not blame you if you could never forgive me for what I had done. I know how much hurt and pain I have caused you and also know that I would never be able to make it right. I struggle with forgiving myself for what I had done and have many things I regret doing in the past, my biggest one being um, being what I did at that restaurant. I had way too much to drink and was also using a lot of drugs. Although it's not an excuse, I just want to say that I know deep in my heart that I would never have done such an awful, th awful and evil thing in my sober state of mind. My addiction has caused a lot of hurt to many people and has torn families apart, including my own. Although an apology might be meaningless to you, I would like to apologize wholeheartedly um, to you regardless. As I said before, I know I would never be able to fix this. However, I would like to one day prove to you that I am more than just a nobody. And to make it up to you, I don't know how, and I will need professional help and guidance. However, I promise to do my absolute best to earn your forgiveness as well as your daughter's forgiveness above all else. I want you to know that I did not plan this, and I also did not intend to cause any harm that day. I honestly don't know what possessed me to do, um, to do what I did in that moment. I'm 100% deserving of punishment and all the bad publicity. I hope one day you'll be able to forgive me once I've proven worthy of that forgiveness. I'm so sorry, Nicholas Nino.